<laughs> Underneath Howard's 1968 GT350 convertible. The real deal, guys. Um, Doctor, what do you think? Who are you talking to? You. Oh, yeah, I'm calling you Doctor. <laughs> uh, power steering lines look like they're going to be just fine now. Okay. It's, so it's taking a lot of tweaking, but we can get it. We got it. Right. We got that worked out. And, uh, guys, we've got a... Uh, a rubber boot that failed on the lower ball joint that we installed a couple months ago so I get to deal with that also on this car I've already called Howard and asked him if he wants to take the car back right away we can deal with it later it's not a major emergency but you can't re-grease this car right now with that rubber boot that split rubber boot parts will fail and we will fix them because we back them up because we put them on this is the cross I have to bear as a shop owner and what you have to deal with is restoration. Thoroughly test your stuff. Um, just get it out on the road and run it and see what you got. But uh, we went through a lot with these hoses and what it turns out is on a Shelby, a 68 Shelby and a power steering line, you cannot use a 68 power steering line. You need to use a Boss 302 setup uh, for a power steering line. It's two lines and it, it has to have enough motion or if you put the regular 68 power steering line the steering going back and forth will eventually twist the line snap it and then you've got no power steering case in point what happened here so take notes we all learn together if you're, you got a 68 and you got headers on her you're gonna need a boss 302 setup line it's a dual line system to run the power steering or you will split your 68 power steering line please make a note and you won't have to go through what we're going through over here at Mustang Matter. Remember, we take the frustration out of restoration. You watch us get frustrated, you guys relax. All right, I spoke to Oscar about his car, and he said, we'll take another day, get it done, get it done. And he's very understanding about aftermarket parts, which I appreciate. So Cliff is right now clearing out the, um, uh, opening up the, uh, the uh, bottom ball joint so it can come down. And then we are going to put a new boot on it and be right as rain. Who knows? They'll be able to get it done today for him. That's my hope and desire. Easy, Duke. And now it's time to road test the Shelby. Woo! 68. Bad boy. Uh, we fixed the power steering line and we found out we had a torn, we had a torn boot. So now it's being test driven and make sure that power steering line does not give Howard any more problems. There she goes. Smile, Duke. Good boy. Good boy.